To the Saxuatl Indian tribe based in the mountains of the North Cascades, honor, respect, and stewardship of the natural world around them is at the heart of their culture. Tribal leaders say the same should be expected of Seattle, named after the revered Chief Seattle. His image is the face of the city, featured prominently on its logo and on the official seal. Chief Seattle famously believed the lands of the Northwest are sacred and should be treated the same as a family member. Anything with his face on it, anything with his name on it, should reflect what he stands for. Nino Maltos is chairman of the Saxuatl tribe. And I believe what he stood for is protecting the environment and protecting the fish, protecting everything natural. And uh, we, be we believe they're not doing that. The tribe says in living up to its namesake, Seattle is failing miserably. At issue are the city's three dams on the Skagit River. Seattle City Light built them 100 years ago without consulting the Skagit Valley Indian tribes. The dams sit on Native American ancestral lands and, according to all natural resource agencies in the Northwest, the dams also kill salmon. They choke off miles of habitat they need. Seattle's dams have no way for salmon to get around them. In the tribal culture, when you have a tribal name, that carries with it a whole bunch of responsibility to live up to that name. Jack Fyander is the attorney for the Saxuatl tribe. Chief Seattle would have never tolerated not having fish passage because he felt like fish are people too. With some salmon species, including Chinook, on the brink of extinction, the Saxuatl say there's no time to waste. They fired off this letter to the mayor and city council saying, Chief Seattle was a person known for his integrity. City of Seattle, live up to the values of your namesake or cease bearing his image as the great seal of the city of Seattle. It sent a message that you're being hypocritical. Did you ever hear back from the mayor of the city of Seattle? No, no, I did not. Neither Mayor Durkin nor any member of the Seattle City Council answered the tribe. In our eyes, we are the highest level of government to our tribe and our people. And to not get the same respect, it, it's, it's unjust to us. We feel that uh, we, we should have that respect. The tribe says the lack of response is especially insulting given the city's support of other tribes out of state, including the Standing Rock Sioux. Here you go, folks. In 2016, the mayor signed a declaration of support over the Dakota Access Pipeline controversy. When it's easy, when it's not in your backyard, Seattle, you will, you will support the Standing Rock people. You will call for the removal of Snake River dams. But you have three dams in our territory that don't have fish passage while these fish are going extinct. Instead of hearing back from top elected officials, the chairman got a letter from Seattle City Lights CEO, who said the utility respects the Saxuatl and wants to work with them. The tribe says they don't need more words or meetings. They want action and support from the people whose lights are powered by their river. To the citizens of the city of Seattle who are interested in preserving salmon. Don't leave us out here to fight this alone. We're outside City Hall right now and neither the mayor or any member of the city council would conduct an interview with us for this report. So what is next for the Skagit? The city right now is trying to get its three dams relicensed by the federal government. The City Light CEO, Deborah Smith, wrote the tribe about that and she said, uh, we're waiting to see the results of studies that they're doing to see, quote, whether, when, and how fish passage would be required to get a new license. I'm Susanna Frame reporting live in Seattle.